Let's see. Whoa. And this is why. Just from. Can you guess where all of this gook came from? Let's find out. A few months ago, my wife and I sold our first house and decided to hit the road in our new home a 31-foot Class C beauty that we gutted out and renovated ourselves. We traded in our traditional lifestyles for a lifestyle of freedom. Freedom to travel, freedom to explore, and freedom to homeschool our kids. The goal is to show our kids the world as they learn about it and create some amazing memories along the way. Follow us here on our journey as we define what it means to live out of bounds. And take that off because Today we are about to paint finally but before we get there there's always this? a but mm, look y'all it's a uh, wallpaper goo gone is i mean it's helping a little bit but i feel like we're gonna have to use the whole dang on thing so we are now pre-prepping the area for paint and part of that includes trying to get oh there's no wallpaper on this side right there trying to get wallpaper off see that that so it's, it's here and it's in the room yeah so right here and there and then in the room y'all so ugly what you don't want to keep it babe i would love to throw this in the trash so yeah that's uh that's part of the pre-prep um Oh we we gonna try to work it out and get it off. So if you guys are in this situation and you have some not appealing wallpaper, we'll let you know how to quickly get it away because I'm not about to sit here and pull this. She's so not. So I am about to go research. Give us a minute and we will be back at you to figure out how to quickly remove mm -hmm. this wallpaper. It's just like really slow. Yeah. So because wait. And you spray it here. Yeah, it, it's yep. too slow. It's, yeah. Babe, babe, it's ready. Yeah. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I, I was trying to just rip it off initially. But yeah. that might not be the way to go. because. And I was trying to just say, let's just paint over. Well, we... I don't know if, like, because it has those edges, you know, at the top and bottom. So if we paint over We're it... We're putting backsplash over this. No, so. this is going to be fine because we're putting a backsplash. But I'm so that's about, how to quickly remove it. We're going to put backsplash over here. Don't worry about removing it over here. In the room. So she means don't remove it and just cover it. I mean, we are going to just cover this area. So that would make sense here. But in the room, I was thinking like how, you I, know, I the know, paint the, is going the, to... Uh, mm. our, niece, grass apple. our niece just grass came apple. in. Yeah, the cricket. A who? Oh, a cricket. A cricket. <laughs> Oh, Wait, okay. they thought she had a real cricket in her hand. No, I didn't. That's <laughs> a real one. That is not a real one. Let me see. A, a ruby in a day. What? A ruby in a day. Let me see. It's a real one today. Uh-huh. Y'all. Yeah. Oh, it's Look, cool. It's cool. This is what niece just came and brought in. She said it's a real cricket. So she's going to be our a little helper yes, kind of today. Y'all should see her hand right now. What's wrong with my hand? You thought it had the stuff on it. No, where was your hand going? We are doing home improvement on the RV. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, guys. So we're gonna proceed. Um, so we're not removing this. We're just gonna cover it, and that's that's a quick thing that you guys can just do. You want to work smarter, not harder always in these renovations um so we are going to continue with the pre-prep of the space let's go we have figured out a solution to getting this wallpaper off in the room without the ripping up the way. wall y'all i'm about to show you right now look old school way well well yeah. old school is get a blow dry yes if you don't have a heat but. gun then you can use a blow dryer the same way. Yeah, Put it on it um, what the highest setting. I have it on the <laughs> highest setting, but you could probably use it. No, low. I'm saying if they have a blow dryer. Oh, yeah, I would say put it on the highest setting. Make sure it's on warm. 
and hold it about eight inches from it, eight to ten inches from it, and apply a little pressure to it, and then it is coming off. And it's coming off. So this is how we figured out how to get it off without ripping up our walls so that it'll be a cleaner buff once this is removed and this is what y'all can do so in your rv renovations a heat gun or if you don't have a heat gun uh use a blow dryer most people probably have a blow dryer and it's a work y'all okay so to prepare for painting we removed all cabinet doors and drawers we also sanded the walls and covered areas in plastic to keep them protected from paint babe is washing the walls and so why is this something that we have to do like why can't we just paint it like this you want to know why yeah i'd love to know i think they would want to know why too let's see whoa and this is why just from this wall here so i'm going to spray this wall i want y'all to see how the dirt runs down oh, let's see y'all talk about what almost 20 years of just living Come look at this Close up. I don't know if y'all can see it kind of beating up. Wow. Okay. Yeah, look at that, y'all. Look how dirty. Whew. Yeah, this disgusts me. Talk about a deep cleaning, right? Like gross. having to have that done. So make sure that you do that as part of it. Um, and for your sanding situation, you can get one of these little handheld. Um, electrical sanders, circular sanders. You don't have to, but it will save you a ton of time. Yeah, and a lot of arm work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, so it is officially going down. Of course, we had to um, get these painter overalls, you know, because Plus, if we're gonna paint, why not look the part? Right, babe? Yeah. It's a little warm. It's a little warm because it's warm outside. The color is like an alabaster white. Same color that was in our house. Yeah. So not like pure bright white, um, but kind of like a um, calm version of it. Look, look at it. She ready to go, y'all. <laughs> what size is this? This is a large slash, slash extra large. So what we <laughs> notice is that Painter suits do not come in smaller sizes, or at least they didn't have any in stock. And it's like, you Which know. Which means they don't have them for most women, because I mean, some women, you know, are a little hippier and understandable, but girl, some of us are not, especially this one. <laughs> Look at her booty and these <laughs> Okay, y'all. All right, sorry. So we about to um, get started with, with the painting. Bay already has her little suit on i'm about to put mine on try not to laugh as we are paying and um we're gonna get it going we removed the window sills and then got to work we chose to go with paint sprayers for the larger areas and paint brushes for corners and small spaces the paint sprayers really helped to speed up the job and we would definitely recommend them for the cabinet doors we laid down plastic and then spread each of them out that way we could get a nice clean finish with the sprayer. Finally, we taped off portions of the wall and then spray painted the window sills. Now, we would recommend that you actually spray paint the window sills first. That way you probably won't have to tape off, but it still worked out for us in the end. So that's it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at Living Out of Bounds.